let's start. Today we will see how to implement the Recycler View pagination in the Kotlin Android. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and an adapter class. And in this UI, we have the activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. And the row underscore item.xml file, which is the layout of the single row of the recycler view. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have a recycler view inside a constraint layout. And in the row underscore item.xml file, we have a text view inside a constraint layout. Let's see the Kotlin code now. This is a model class with a string variable as the data member. This string will be shown in each row of the recycler view. These are the imports. This is the adapter class. These are the data members, and this is how we initialize them. In the onCreateViewHolder function, this is how we inflate the row underscore item.xml file. In the bindViewHolder function, this is how we get the data from the model class and set it in the text view. In the getItemCount function, this is how we get the count of the number of items in the recycler view. This is the ViewHolder class. When an item in the recycler view is clicked, we show a toast here. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. Here we have two arrays of string. One array will be used to populate the recycler initially, and the other array would be used to populate the recycler view every time we perform the pagination. In the onCreate function, first, we create an instance of the adapter class. Meanwhile, we call the getData function, which gives us the data that we will show in the recycler view. Then we set up the recycler view attributes like its orientation, animation, item decoration, etc. At last, we call the setup pagination function. This is the setup pagination function. Here when the last item in the recycler view is scrolled, we call the getData2 function and populate the recycler with new data. So our recycler view becomes an endlessly scrolling recycler view. This is the getData function that converts the data from array format to array list format, as the recycler view adapter needs the data in array list format. This function is used to populate the recycler view initially. And this is the getData2 function. This function is used to repopulate the recycler whenever we reach the last element in the recycler view. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement the recycler view pagination in Kotlin Android. Thank you.